Hello, hello, hello. I hope everybody's having a great Sunday. This is 50 Pits, 23rd, 02, 2014. I'm not making any trade calls or recommendations because you and only you are responsible for the trades you may decide to take. The fact that you're listening to this means you've read your understanding. You accept all the disclosure disclaimers on the blog, understanding that we're just doing this for educational purposes only. So what's going on? What's going on? Well, nothing much really has been very, fairly slow. We've had some moves, but pretty much it's wait and see. So as usual, if we start with the ES, not a lot to add really, right? We're just chopping around at highs. We uh, keep on saying that uh, we would think that if we're going to have a big retracement, right? Not a healthy retracement, but if we're looking at a big top to form, we'd not expect that to happen from uh, sideways action, okay? So we did see a correction, but then this 1750 caught a bid, couldn't get any traction below, right back at highs. I mean, again, we t still tend to, it, it can happen, but we still expect that this is going to, if it's going to fail hard, it needs to fail from higher levels. There's not a lot to add. We're still stuck in this 1850, 1800, and 1750 zone. You know, as long as we hold above here, um, it's very tempting for the market to try and take out stops and continue to grind higher. So going into the week, there's really no change for us. It's a relatively slow week in terms of data. Still 1850, 1800, 1750. Looking at tactically, looking for shorts intraday with failures ahead of these 1850s from a swing le level looking for breaks above 1850 and fails to hold as possible interesting area for swing uh, shorts and again any dips into these 1850s could be uh, you know interesting uh, levels to engage both to the upside as the and the downside as this will likely continue to remain a pivotal level also from an intra week basis but again um, not a lot to add. Still stuck exactly where we are. We just got to be patient. We got to let to see it, see this thing uh, play out. So again, I wish I could say something more, but that's pretty much where we are. A lot of people ask me about crude. There's really no change in crude here. We're still looking for this to move all the way back into the uh, 104s, potentially into the 107s, at least in this leg of the move. Um, we're here this is a weekly chart just a reminder we've been pretty much looking at this to potentially go and put new highs well above the 112 since that we got this hold here you can also check if you put a 100 moving average this is a 200 on the weekly if you look at the 100 200 it looks like it's still holding and it feels like it still needs to fail from higher levels if it's going to fail and when it's going to fail right here I suspect even a lot of the shorter term traders are going to be looking for those 104s to print and maybe you'll see shorts coming in at that level. I think for right now the fighting zone is going to be 104 to the upside and still this 100 to the downside and you know you can see this 200 moving average coming in on the daily. So this is going to be the intermediate range or going into the week but we still think the risk here is for another move to the upside continuation to the upside. Gold to finish off the futures, then we can look at some future, uh, some forex pairs. Uh, not a lot going on. Again, we're talking about the fact that we were trading in this uh, 1200, 1250, 1300 zone, and basically our hypothesis is that we are putting in um, um, long-term bottom here, and that we're going to see grind back into 1400, potentially into 1500 too. And what we're witnessing here is what we call the range shift, right? So as the range was 1200, 1250, 1300 here we're shifting higher right and currently what we're trading in is 1250 1300 1350 and we're looking for this to continue to track above the 1350 to give us an, yet another range shift and to move into 1400 1350 1300 so again this is still in play i think i'd keep a close eye on what happens here at the 1350 i still th it's still top range so you'd expect a lot of people trying to come in and fade this area so from a intra week level again that's really going to be the uh, the bull bear line you know as long as we can't break back above and hold above that quickly most likely market will be looking to fade and get short around that level if we can get some traction above then i suspect the market could be in buy dips for a continuation back into that 1400 but again still in grind higher mode as far as we're concerned Aussie, what's going on on Aussie? So we looked at Aussie and we said basically there were two levels, right? Two key levels and the two key levels on Aussie was the, were the 91 and 90s. 
so basically we came back in we failed inside the zone we shot back uh, below and on the move back down still failure to hold below sorry above the 090 level so watch this level as we go into the week if we're going to see pressure on you'd expect to continue to see failure to close above the 090 level from a daily perspective and as long as we keep on closing below this level we'd expect to see the market try to take a stab at taking out this series of higher lows and making a move back into the 8840s which is a big pivotal level okay this four hour chart by the way if we trade back above and we get daily closes above the 090 we'd expect this to try and make us take a stab back into the 91s so again this is really the bull bear area to watch it's very apparent even if you look at it on the daily it's been a very important zone keep in mind the only thing we've been saying with this area is a bit tricky for the bigger swings is that if we break above the 91 level you know don't forget you've got very strong resistance coming up in the form of that 200 day a moving average on the other hand as long as we hold below the 090 if we start to press lower don't forget that we've got very strong support coming in here in line in this 88 um, uh, what is it 88 80s levels right so let me just get back on that daily so I can put it back up just to give you an idea here on the four hours so see that's where the 200 is coming in so if we flip over on that four hour there you go right you've got very strong bull bear line to the downside and you've got another very strong bull bear line to the upside should we continue to trade higher so that's pretty much what i would be looking at as the key levels to watch what i'd be focused on on aussie right then what's happening on cable so cable we tried to hold this zone to continue to move higher in extension and this was this breakout zone coming in pretty much of the 6650s and it kept on catching a bit and popping higher then we had all those fixes coming through on friday the new you know talk of vodafone etc whatever you want and we start to see some unwinding some profit taking some some pressure to the downside going into the week uh, there's really no change the level to watch as far as I'm concerned are these 6650 right so it's all about that as long as we close below that from a daily perspective look for this to continue to trade heavy more longs taking profits more short jumping into here and looking for a potential move all the way back into the 6530 okay at least in terms of short term move but if we get back above the 6650s, then I'd expect the market to continue to try and take a stab higher. Now, that's really the bull bear line. And I think it's we have to see how we open on Monday after the shenanigans that went through on Friday to see how this uh, kind of levels off. Clearly, if it stays below the 6650, look for this to continue trading with a with a heavy tone. If we get quick back above 6650 and hold above, then we could see some a quick retest of that scene of the crime where we sold off from euro again as we said fairly light calendar in terms of data um, the most important thing i would say um, at least short term is keep in mind that as we go into monday trade we've got german ifo coming out on monday so that's really the main event ross risk to to get us started for the week so what did we say on euro we kept on saying that we felt that if we failed we had to fail from a higher level and we felt that we had some unresolved business trading in those 3750s 3770s in those yearly highs okay and we'd expect the market to try and take a stab at those yearly highs so what happened as we continue to try and trade lower it was fairly apparent i think uh you know very difficult to argue that the market was really uncomfortable uh trading lower it had all the possible excuses to come back down and it kept on catching a bid so first of all how do we start we broke above the previous resistance and tried to take a stab above take it to print new yearly highs now we got sold off about five pips depending on what platform you looked at we just got very very shy of that level we dipped down we tried to take another stab at it we got sold very hard now here you know selling off from a failure to print new highs you know market really had every possible excuse to really take another a press lower and what happened here we got bids coming in well ahead of the 3650s actually they were coming in just protecting this breakup zone okay so right here you see on a four hour you've got three candles only wicks to the downside very aggressive buying clearly the market not comfortable going lower and now we're bam right back around those 3750s okay um 
I wouldn't be surprised if we had some kind of shenanigans like gap down or gap up open um, on Sunday night. We'll have to see how that trades here. But again, there it's all about the fight around the 3750s. And keep in mind that as long as we trade around these 3750s, as we said, you know, to use a very technical term, we're really uh, <laughs> spitting distance of those highs. So. Uh, I'd suspect the market will be very tempted to continue to take a stab there. And probably as long as we open around this area and we're here into IFO, that's going to be a very good um, level. Now, what I would say is if we get traction above the highs, this is not something you really want to stay stubbornly short. Expect this to try and continue to get some momentum and try and take a stab at those 38.8s, uh, 38.30s, 38 38.50 relatively quickly, and it will be on its way as long as it holds above the highs for you know ultimately that move back into 41s. On the other hand, if on IFO, on the news early in the week, we start to sell off and you see us taking out these lows, then most probably there's a very good chance that we'll take a very aggressive stab to try and print below those 3650s. And if those go, then we could see this substantially try to accelerate all the way into the 3600s. So I think here the market is waiting for direction. It's very choppy moving very quickly at highs but broadly speaking it's still stuck in a very tight range you know we've had days where it's been about eight hours in a 20 30 pip range so don't be confused about velocity of the move but equally don't be stubborn if you start to see this break out okay so that's what i'll be looking at going into the week let's see what we've got let's hope we get some moves i wish everybody an awesome rest of sunday wherever you may be whatever you may be doing again if you like the content don't be shy about sharing it liking it or whatever retweeting it have an awesome one thanks for listening and see you guys on twitter and let's hope we got a bit of a uh, volatility coming back in and some sustained moves that'll be uh, very good for everybody okay have an awesome one take care guys